going on guys and uh we're gonna do something different you're wondering you're recording majora's mask are you i thought we'd do a little bit of a quickie let's do some mike tyson's punch out now that i have a, a crt this is basically a test my uh, new setup and uh i don't know when this is gonna be posted but like um i don't know like um this is another one of these games i don't really expect to beat these are basically the fighters you fight in the game. I'll basically point out later which is the one I can't consistently beat. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, Mike Dyson's Poncho is definitely one of my favorite games in the NES, and, uh, we're gonna get it started, and, uh, wait to see some of the stereotypes in this game. Yeah, Glass Joe is from Paris, France. He has a 199 record, and he is, like, the weakest fighter in the whole game. Yeah, Puncho is definitely full of stereotypes. It's even worse in the arcade version, which uh, I have not played. Anyway, so Glass Joe is easy as fuck. Basically, like, uh, you punch the area he's not blocking. You basically just punch the area he's not blocking. Like that. And he's gonna go back at, like, the 42 count. And then he's gonna, and then basically, uh, you punch him in the gut and he immediately goes down. He's easy as crap. One uppercut will knock him down like that. You can basically do this without even looking at the screen. And there are people that play punch out blindfolded. It's a TKO. If it's three knockdown rule in effect, a TKO. These guys monetize it. Also, I apologize for the mono sound in the uh, game footage because the NES doesn't do surround sound. And so here's the kind of the way I fight Von Kaiser. I just block his punches and then uh, count five punches. And then one uppercut will knock him out. Anyway, so once you knock him out, he's basically gonna. Um, He's gonna throw an uppercut and you put before you throw the uppercut, you punch him in the gut for a star. This is kind of another fight you can do without even like looking at the screen. And that's TKO. Piss, this is the uh, title bout. This is um, Piston Hada, who is definitely the biggest threat to punch out rookies. He's definitely like, um, he's the first fighter where you can't just casually throw punches. Because he'll just block them. And so when he twitches his eyes, you can punch him in the gut for a star. He's gonna throw uppercut. I think you want to knock him down. Yeah, we can just knock him down. And so he's gonna twitch his eyes. Anyway, if you time it right, it's an instant knockdown for him. Let's see here. 
And so we're fucking running in pink pajamas. I do like the music here, and we get a pass key in case we have a game over. I mean, there's Don Flamenco. The first fight with Don Flamenco, I think, is the easiest fight in the whole game. And so he's gonna basically block your punches and throw an uppercut. Then you just alternate left and right. We got an, an endless supply of ass whipping. We never have to, uh, he will never recover from this if you just keep going left and right. Except that I kind of fucked up the timing. I always like with the, the glass show and, uh, Don Flamenco, if you punch him to the left, he falls in a much more amusing way. He will, sometimes fighters will also try to um, get up and get back down, but I think that only happens if you try to get up at 5 or 9. And so King Hippo, he's easy as crap if you know what you're doing. You just punch him in the face when he opens his mouth. And so punch him in the mouth, then uh, he, his pants will fall down. He'll basically, uh, he'll basically, he'll basically like, keep pulling his pants back up. And once you knock him down, he'll never get back up. Even Mario tries to slow down the count. Anyway, so Great Tiger, he's another one of those stereotypes. You have to dodge his punch when the dot on his turban lights up because, you know, stereotypes. Or you can do this. Oh, that's first knockdown. And so he's gonna, um, he's gonna, he's gonna be like, uh, Von Kaiser, where he, uh, where he tries to get stuck, where he punches him in the guy. You have to face him in the, the right side, otherwise he'll block it. You get a lot of stamina for this fight, actually. TKO. This is our major circuit title bout. Anyway, so Bald Bull, he's definitely uh, another threat to punch out rookies. I will explain one thing about how to get his... Because, like, he's going to try to do a bull charge. He's going to throw three hooks and throw an uppercut.
for this first knockdown. The second knockdown. I think you have to time the bull charge when I get in the first round. Fuck. I didn't time it right. Ah, that's CKO. Anyway, so this is when the game starts to actually get really hard, the, uh, the, uh, world circuit. Anyway, so we're running Pico Jones in the Bronx at nighttime. So yeah, Mac, you're basically, uh, you're basically bait for, uh, assault and all that. And so we get a pass here to take us to the world circuit. Anyway, so uh, here's the second fight with Piss and Honda. Now the second fight with Piss and Honda can take me like a few, a cup, a few seconds, or like going to three rounds. Depends on if I can time his thing. Because if you time his, uh, if you time his, uh, what am I trying to say? If you time his uh, charge, it's an instant knockout. Yep, that's an instant knockout. I'm not always good at timing that. Anyway, you want a little fun fact about this guy? In the arcade version, Soda Pop Gensi was called Vodka Drunkinski, but they didn't want to promote alcoholism, and they thought that was too offensive, so they changed it to Soda Pop Gensi. But if you go in between rounds, he still says, I'm going to make you feel punch drunk. Yeah, I don't buy it, Nintendo. And so he's gonna throw a hook and uh There's a specific way you can get him in the first round, but I don't know how it works. Fuck. I think you have to if you wanna get him in the first round, you have to do it a very specific way. So that's two knockdowns. Yeah, we're not going to get him in the first round. Our goal is to tire him out, so he basically is easier to knock down.
Hang on, so let's see what his drunken dialogue is. I'm gonna make you feel punch drunk. Yeah, I don't believe there's soda pop in that bottle. Okay, 21 seconds and he's already knocked down. That second knockdown. Just one more knockdown, he's done. I almost thought I wasn't I wasn't gonna do it, but uh that's TKO. We almost went to three rounds with them. Alright, we're on deck number four and uh yeah, this is the ball bull where like it's kind of a pain in the ass you can only knock an out star if we got your time in the bull charge. You do get plenty of opportunities to, start, to get stars, though. Mm -hmm. yeah, so he's knocked down. That's great. Oh, get knocked down. Oh, you're up again. Hey, yeah, we're gonna make me now, and I get knocked down, but I get up again. One, one thing that's strange about the second ball, Bill, is that he always gets up at nine. I have heard it's possible to KO him, but I don't know how it works. I think you have to go into three rounds with him. I timed it wrong. You're gonna get up at nine. Yeah, we're going into two rounds with them. Listen, Matt. Give him a fast uppercut when he's stunned. This time, I'm going to charge right over you. Well, you already did. That's a shitty increase, Doc. You can actually increase your life between rounds. And it's uh the first knockdown. Ooh. He's gonna be up at nine, I already know it. Yeah, he always gets up at nine. I wonder if it is possible to KO him. I think you have I think you probably have to go into three rounds with them. Yeah, we already uh we already almost have him completely knocked out. We've tied him out basically.
Get TKO. Here's the next fighter. Uh, this is the second fight with Don Flamenco. I never understood how Don Flamenco, of all people, beat Bald Bull. This Flamenco is actually kind of a pain in the ass because, like, um, he'll throw jabs, and not only that, like, um, he'll basically block all your punches until you get run out of hearts. You know, throw jabs like that. Yeah, he basically, eventually he's gonna like, uh, block all your punches and, uh, basically drain your hearts. Yeah, like this. I just wanna see him fall in a more amusing way. We're not going to TKO in the first round, though. Our goal is to make him tired. I wonder if it is possible to get to KO this Don Flamenco. We actually didn't even take a single hit. And look, he lost his hair. Let me go straight to Return of Dawn. Yep, we get to see him fall in a more music way. This is the last time I'm probably going to get to see it, though. 22 seconds, he's already knocked out. I've heard the amount of points required to beat this Don Flamingo by decision is insanely high. I think it's like 10,000. Here we go. At least we can get him running. Out. We're gonna run out of hearts now. And that's CKO. We only have three more fighters left. We rank up to number two, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna fight Mr. Sandman, which is definitely one of the hardest fights in the whole game. He's basically a palette swap of Bull Bull. He's gonna throw the jabs and he's gonna throw the hooks. There's actually a way he can get the you can throw the hooks faster. Yeah, basically uh you wanna dodge the hooks and then punch him in the gut. Okay. 
Yeah, when you when he when he blinked when he flashes, that's when you wanna uh do the uh hooks. When you wanna dodge the uppercuts. Because I'm not always good at doing it. There's a chance a good chance I might not beat this guy. I'm really trying to concentrate. Sorry for the lack of commentary. Anyway, so we at least we can ambush him in the second round. I can't win, Doc. Yes, you can, Mac. Bedtime for little Mac. Well, that's a better increase. We, we got our life back. And that's the uh, first knockdown. He's into the uppercuts when he gets back up, though. Let me see if I can time it right this time. Hold on a second, I'm gonna concentrate. Yeah, once you counter those, you can do like 15 body shots. Alright, that's second knockdown. He's gonna do the uppercuts again. If we can time those, we got the fight. Alright, we got him. That's TKO. Now, the fight after this is uh, Super Macho Man. And, uh, there is a good chance I might not be able to beat this guy because, um, there's a little, uh, catch. If you lose to him, you go all the way back to Don Flamenco 2. So, uh, yeah, I'll just cut out some footage if I end up, do end up losing to him. But, like, there's a good chance I might end up I might not end up beating him. If I game over, then I will just use the code to get to Tyson, but I will we'll, here we go. Yes, fucker shakes his man boobs. He's basically a palette swap of soda pop means he's have to fuck ton harder because you don't know when his spin punches are coming. Fuck. I'm not going to get this guy in the first round. You have to do this flawlessly to get him in the first round. Alright, we, we got the- we dodged the pin punch. Come on. We got this. We, at least we knocked him down once. But here's where I gotta concentrate with this part because he's gonna throw spin punches and each one is instant knockout. Alright, here we go. At least we got that. We got that out of the system. This guy is not easy at all.
All right, we can ambush him immediately the second round. He's hurt me, Doc. Don't give up, Mac. Fight. My body is just so totally cool. Yeah, fuck you and your body. What a shitty increase, Doc. Six minutes, six seconds, then he's already knocked down. All right, we gotta, we gotta endure the spin punches again. All right, you don't know if he's gonna throw like one, three, five, or seven. I think if I get knocked down another time, it's over. Yep, that's it. Because if he knocks you down three times over the course of three rounds, you won't be able to get up the third time. So I will see you guys in a second. Alright, so I beat Don Flamenco and Mr. Sandman off screen. We're gonna attempt Super Macho Man again. I will just cut out every attempt of uh, Don Flamenco 2 and Super Ma and uh, Mr. Sandman. But uh, the biggest problem I have with Super Macho Man is that if you lose to him, you get knocked all the way back to Don Flamenco 2. So you don't really get to try again. But yeah, we're gonna do it in a second attempt. And uh, if we game over, I'm just gonna use the code that takes you to Super Macho Man. Because there is a code that takes you to him. Thing is, this is the one fighter I can't consistently beat. I might have to do this fight without talking, period. Fuck. That's not how you do it. Right, we, we endured the spin punch. Fuck your spin punches and fuck you, Super Macho Man. Alright, we knocked him down, too. We just gotta endure the spin punches. We were able to do this last time. That's not how you do it. I'm not gonna beat this guy. I'm just gonna flat out say it. I'm not gonna beat this guy. Maybe we make it to the second round, we might have a chance. Cause like, also if he knocks you down over the course of three times, over the course of three rounds, you won't get up the third time. We just need to endure the spin punch. We can't get knocked down a second time. He's hurt me, Doc. Don't give up, Mac. Fight. I don't smoke, but tonight I'm gonna smoke you. You sound so cringe, Super Macho Man. Alright, here we go. 
Fuck. That's not how you do it. I can't get his- I can get his uppercuts, but I can't get his hooks. Alright, we knock him down too. We just gotta knock him down two more times. Can we do that? Alright, we endure the spin punches. We endure the spin punches. You don't know how long it's going to take. Yeah, well, it looks like we're going to three rounds with him. This is the spin punches. I have to do uh, Don Flamenco again. All right, here we go. Because I'm not going to be able to get up! Yeah. Fuck your man boobs and fuck you. If we lose another time, it's game over. Alright, I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so this is our last chance against the uh, Super Macho Man because uh, if you lose three times, it's game over. So, uh, yeah, I will just enter the code that takes you to Super Macho Man if I fail this again, and I'm just going to go look it up quickly. I'm going to look up a uh, Super Macho Man code so I have it. So, uh... I just got to take it, um... All right, I got the code, so, uh... I'll just enter the code if I end up losing to him again. Because I'm not doing Don Flamenco and Mr. Sandman again. But this game is just not easy. He just shakes his- he just beats the crap out of you and shakes his man boobs to mock you. Alright, so we went straight for the uppercut. I didn't time it right. Alright, will I endure the spin punches? Because if you have the wrong rhythm, you're just not gonna dodge them. Alright, I endured them. It's possible to get him in round one, but you have to do it flawlessly, and we're not getting him in round one right now. Right, will we endure the spin round? We haven't been knocked down, surprisingly, so I shouldn't say that out loud. Alright, we're having a better run so far. I'm tired, Doc. I'm gonna heal. Doc, give me a better increase than that. I don't... I, I, look at his macho-macho dialogue. Like, 
long as you stay snapping to my Slim Jims and all that, like the real macho man. This guy's so fucking over the top. Rinse them down, yes. We just gotta endure the spin punches. Yeah, I just can't get that hook down. And one more knockdown, he's one more hit, one more knockdown, that's it. No, 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 no. We're going into three rounds. Fuck no, I almost had him. Now I'm gonna game over and have to enter the code. You're saying the same fucking shit as the first round. I almost fucking had him. This news is I've only been knocked down once, so like I can endure two knockdowns. Right, one more knockdown, it's it. Oh my god, oh my god. Yes, finally! We can do Tyson now. We can finally do Tyson, and guess what? I do not expect to beat him. We, there's a code to get to Tyson, but uh, if let's just say I'm a little bit out of practice with that fight. And look, April 1st, 1987. So April Fool's Day is when Mac won the title. And look, um, I lost my belt, Macho. Daddy, come back home. And that's the code that gets you a super macho, man. Wear me. Green fight, ladies and gentlemen, Kid Dynamite, Mike Tyson. Yeah, uh, let me just also state, even if we didn't have, uh, two losses, if you lose to Tyson, it's an instant game over. I do not expect to beat him, and, uh, if I don't, I will demonstrate the code that takes you to get him. Because they'll throw uppercuts in the first minute 30, they're all instant knockout. I might do this without talking. No, no. We were doing... No, we dodged too early. He gave the del- I don't like when he gives the delay. 
So we've already been knocked down twice, that's a bad sign. Yep, no. We almost made it to 130. That's a bad first attempt. We already got down half his bar, but uh... Yeah, even if you're undefeated, if you lose to him, it's instant game over. I will explain the code that gets you Tyson. You're gonna need to get used if you want to practice this fight. So we're gonna, um... 07373 I have this code memorized because of repeated attempts to do this fight. Let me turn the Tyson fight into a fail montage. Imagine the first minute 30 without talking. Well, we got- we have a better first knockdown the first time. The f***ing delay! You don't know how long the delay is gonna last. And also, how it doesn't help when you're way out of practice for this fight. All right, we made it to the uh, we made it to the jabs. Alright, this can immediately ambush him in round in uh round two. I don't want to use up our healing just yet because we might we're probably gonna go into three rounds with him. Okay, but we've already been knocked down once, and if he knocks I think if he knocks you down this fight four times over the course of three rounds, you won't get up the fourth time. No, we were doing good. Yeah, let's just say this is a fail montage, because look, we're not going to get up. No. No. At least we made it to round two. I sent this a third time. I might have to start cutting shit out. Well, that's a better- that's better than the last two runs. Alright, we knocked him down. Nice. Also, I should point out with the Tyson fight. If you get 5,000 points at any point in the fight and it comes down to a decision, you get the decision. You can beat him by decision.
He's hurt me, Doc. Don't give up, Mac. Fight. Hey, is this kid a joke? Who's the real challenger? Well, I already knocked him down once. That's a good sign. Well, the other guys don't knock you down, but he, uh, he combos them. I think, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Actually, no, we got another try. Nope, that's it this time for good. Thing is, I don't get to learn round two. Right. I'll just cut out the repeated attempts to enter the code. Thing is, I'm just way I'm just way out of practice with the Tyson fight because I've beaten him before. That's better than the uh, last two, the last three attempts. Each attempt gets better than the last. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. I'm, not, I'm just going to wait till the round ends. I'm going to wait till the round ends to attack him so I can instant knock out the second round. Yeah, Tyson, I already am. Um, I am gonna knock you down this fight. Alright, 32 seconds in, he's already knocked down. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to ambush him the, immediately. Fuck no, we almost made it to three rounds. Nope, that's it. I think I'm gonna um make it a separate video. And I'm gonna I'm gonna practice Tyson off screen. 
and then beat him because like I don't have much time left to uh practice this. Let's just say this is a fail finale. I'll come back to this later. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks. Bye. At least we fucking beat Super Macho Man. That's a fucking accomplishment.